with me, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkerton. We have got a great show lined up for you. Absolutely. Today it's just, uh, yeah, Valentine's weekend, some love songs, Ooh. got some chat, and of course the competitions. I'll tell you what, I, I was walking here today, and the West End is crammed. There's helicopters, there's police, there's about a million people sort of just milling around, standing around with placards and stuff. I don't know what they're doing, but they've got too much time on that. They, they need a war. You don't read the newspapers, do you? Boring. Ooh, those boys can rock there. That's the guns with all their roses. <laughs> and sweet child of mine. <laughs> On oh. XFM 104.9. I enjoyed that. Yeah. That yeah. was good. It rocks. It I, rocks, hope, I hope the audience was playing it loud like us. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Ricky Jones, <sighs> Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Well, look at him yawning. How rude is that? Carl, what's wrong with you, man? Have you been up late? A little bit. <laughs> Girlfriend was away, wasn't she, yesterday? Yeah, I always have a problem with that. I always have a- Cos you don't go to bed, do you, early? <laughs> do you know what I mean? You what? sort of think- I, I just always mm. find that thing that if, you know, you're used to living with someone- Yeah. One of you will go, well, let's go to bed, then you'll go, alright. Um, but when you're on your own, you go- oh. You just forget to go to bed. So you I just stay up. Okay, was... stop- stop eating now, Carl. You've had all the food, that's just the plate. Oh, alright, okay. Yeah. No, I just- I, I stayed up and watched, um, there was a thing on about Dracula. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, Dracula? And I found a flaw in it. Go on. Uh, not- not the fact that he's the living dead and he's- No. Nope. drinks blood to stay alive and he doesn't reflect and he can in turn mirrors. Into a bat. Well, and you can- go on. The mirror thing, you can't look in mirrors, can he? Well, he can look in mirrors but he can't see himself in a mirror. Yeah. Right, that still doesn't work. Go okay, on. go on. It doesn't work at all, Carl. It doesn't work go anyway. Come on, Well, centre parting's always really neat. His centre parting's always really How does he do it if he can't look in the mirror? <laughs> Bl blood on the floor or something it was called. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I love the floor in the Dracula film is that his centre parting's too neat. How does he do it without a mirror? Oh. Was it a documentary about Dracula? No, yeah. it was- The real Dracula. Called... The real Dracula. <laughs> yeah, the real yeah. Dracula. The it's just a film. It had blood on the floor or something it's called. Yeah. It's rubbish. Yeah. From 1970. Yeah. Right. But you, you say that and watch that. You know there aren't yeah, really- Vampires that, in that yeah, sense. Yeah. Yeah, but it still annoys you that his centre part was too neat. Well, if you're gonna do it, do you know what I mean? I'd like to see him with a fringe, sort of pushed forward, Ooh. and maybe a hood up, alright? Come to suck your blood on that, alright? Uh, yeah, just bits of tissue paper all over his face yeah, where oh, he's cut himself oh, shaving. Oh, I can't see it. Bloody mirrors <laughs> annoying me now, right? yeah. I'd love to see that. A little mank drack. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Well, that, that might be a film that we do in uh, our movie. Mankula. Just, just getting onto that. Mankula. Count Mankula. <laughs> All right. You got any rave? You got any rave music? Ah, huh? <laughs> Johnny Oasis or that? Huh? That'd be brilliant. <laughs> he came from Manchester. Please welcome Mankula. All right. That'd be great, wouldn't it? His hair's a mess. Well, I can't see a mirror, can I? <laughs> well, we've got a show lined up for you. Um, sad news. For Rockbusters fans, it is going to be the last Rockbusters. Does that mean that we are doing another one and it's the last one? Or we are doing another one, together? and it's the last one. Oh, man. Got a bit of a special one, Steve. Have you? Yeah. Um, it's just sort of done. Well, it on makes there. sense. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> First time only. No, it's it's uh, it's done on accents because I'm running out of like clues and that to use. Oh, is this as bit good as the Jamaican one? Uh, <laughs> the the de Trout Spinners. <laughs> the Trout Spinners. That doesn't work. At all. A bit like that. Okay, so go on, what's, uh, what's the gist of this one? Well, it's just, um, I've been the sound effects bit, that, that didn't really wow. work out. So there's three sort of cryptic clues. Yep. yep. And, sort uh, of cryptic, yeah. it's done on, uh, it's done on accents and I've sort of worked down the country. So I've got a northern one, mm -hmm. I've got a brummy one, and I've got a, uh, cockney one. All right. Excellent. We'll look forward so to that. We've got quite later. a lot of competitions, haven't we? Because we've also got your film competition. He's, uh, appearing in The Shining this week, Steve. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Um, we've also got, ooh, chimpanzee <laughs> that. More monkey news from around the world. <laughs> monkey news. Uh, Stay tuned for that. But, there's one that I thought we could phase in as we phased out Rockbusters. It's an old favourite. Carl, it was before your time. Exa Family Fortunes. Exa Family Fortunes, it's brilliant. Get it owes nothing to TV show Family Fortunes. No, it's Exa Family Fortunes. You can't get him on that. So we'll be playing that a little bit later as well with two lucky um, people at the public, and we'll be giving away some great prizes, I imagine, Excellent. Steve. Yeah. Go through those a little bit later. Yeah. Um, as it was Valentine's weekend, what about uh, a lovely song by Lloyd Carl? Oh. Like Lovers Do. Yeah? Love. Lloyd Carl. 
like lovers do on XFM 104.9. Is that for all the lovers out there? <laughs> yeah. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and little Carl Wilkinson. Oh, we're having a laugh, aren't we? Little Carl with his hey, sandwich and that. Up, he? Oh, I'm having a- oh! I'm still bruised where you punched me in the shoulder, showing that you could box. Yeah, to be fair though, Rick, you do think that you're now a yeah. professional boxer because like you've been on the telly like boxing. Marciano, yeah. No, he does. Uh, I mean, he laughs about it, but he does walk around thinking, yeah, I could probably handle myself in a yeah. street brawl. In fact, I walk around handling myself. Yeah. A lot of the time, don't yeah. I, Carl? Um, and often mm. Carl. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it's because his little round head, I've got another mate that's got a little bald head and I'd like to squeeze it. Mm. I'd just <laughs> like to see how far, do you know what I mean, like an egg, it, you can squeeze it that way, sort of sideways and that hurts, but then squeeze it forward to back, it doesn't hurt so much, does it? Do you know what worries me though, I think <laughs> if you ever actually did crack Carl's head, I think yolk would come out. <laughs> yeah, I d he was drawing and I gave him a little karate chop on the back of the head and he jumped, he spasmed. Sorry, <laughs> you gave him a karate chop on the back of the head? Yeah. To be fair though, I think I'd spasm. <laughs> <laughs> if a man crept up behind me and karate chopped me in the neck, oh, that's probably a natural God. reaction. Didn't I laugh, oh, eh, yeah, God? This is right, good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we got lots of uh, little things to get through. I mean, look at his little face. You are right? We had a little lunch yesterday, didn't we? We did indeed. That was a nightmare. Yeah. I hate going out with you two. I, I was explaining to Carl, right? I, I like to excite Carl's imagination, right? And uh, um, if it involves chimps or monkeys, all the better. Um, brains he likes, parts of the body, deformity, you know, I know, I know where to, you know, what buttons to push. And, um, I told him about this thing, I don't know if, uh, uh any of you out there, um, know about this, um, but there's, there's an experiment they did in the, in the 50s, um, a, uh, a clinical psychology experiment where, uh, there's, your two hemispheres of the brain, okay, they're joined by a thing called the corpus callosum, right, which is a, just a little f flap of skin, like a little scartly that joins your two hemispheres. And what they did, they cut that in half, and they thought it was a cure for schizophrenia, but what it turned out to be, or epilepsy, I think, I can't remember, um, uh, was that your two sides of your brains didn't function together. You couldn't get information. I was telling Carl all this thing, and I, one of the things I told him was that they did it on a monkey, and it fought itself over a nut, like its right arm was connected, you know, by its left lobe of the brain, and it was fighting over itself. And Carl went instead of like thinking this is amazing experiment, he went, "Would it would it have been happy if you'd given it two nuts?" <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you started off by explaining it, and I remember you mentioned because I, I was watching the two of you as you were describing it to me. You said, "Of course, one side of the brain deals with uh, symbolism," and as you said the word symbolism, I noticed Carl drift away from looking at you, <laughs> pick up his mobile phone, <laughs> and start pressing buttons randomly. <laughs> And I, I thought it was the word symbolism that got him. And I noticed it took you just a moment longer. And I think the first thing you said was, "When did I lose you?" Yeah, I knew I'd lost him. It's extraordinary, and he doesn't even try I to think disguise I said it. I think I said chair at one point as well. Right, yeah. And I, I knew I was dicing with death there. Yeah. But yeah. um, I did, but I told you, you tried to look it up, didn't you, on the on the web? You didn't find anything about yeah, it. The yeah. spelling, the spelling of it's what? What is it again? What's the word? Corpus callosum. Yeah. I'm sorry. I couldn't put, couldn't do it. Couldn't no, put it's a point. Yeah. Don't bother. Give up. Don't bother. Give up. Um, so any, if anyone knows any interesting facts about that, that, uh, I don't know. yours hasn't been cut in half, has <laughs> it, Carl? That would, again, what explain to I'll tell you what we will be talking about later. I don't know if you're, you, if you're sort of aware of them, Steve. Go on. Bonobos. Oh, I, told I don't him know about, much about bonobos. I told no. him about, um, he was looking for stuff. I said, put in bonobo. He was having no luck with chimp. Um, and they're, uh, they're a, they're a form of chimpanzee, but, um, they're, they're even closer to us. Evolutionally speaking, they've got their social um, groups are more like ours, they're, they're more intelligent. And he was loving it, weren't you? Oh. So is it, is it human bonobo Carl? <laughs> is yeah, that how it works yeah, on the yeah. evolutionary ladder? Chimp, Carl. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> talking about them. So yeah. we're talking about bonobos, you're excited about that? Yeah, That's yeah. Uh, coming up in, uh, monkey news? Um, uh, no, I think it's a bit of a monkey bonus. <laughs> 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 WC, featuring Snoop, The Streets on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. I think we should, uh, kick off with a bit of a competition. I think we should get the, the listeners involved here. Mm -hmm. Phone up if you wanna play XF Family Fortunes. Now a lot of people of course won't be familiar with this because we played this in the very early days of XFM. Yeah. Um, do you want to explain the rules or do you just want people to phone it's in? It's like Family Fortunes. We need two of you. <laughs> uh, I asked you- Do you remember we discussed this before, you can't say that? Yeah. Um, and so get two on the line, you're, you're competing against each other, and so it's fingers on the buzzers. Um, will you stop chewing, picking your teeth? It, it's, it, I mean, even if the listeners can't hear, it really annoys me. It is a bit like having a chimp in the room. Do you know what I mean, Carl? Right. Have you ever seen him he eat hot food? No. Uh, honestly, it is like a chimp. Going, <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> and what are you doing? What? <laughs> Just get- Oh, God. <laughs> or like the cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I'm never annoying, Carl, so why are you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, Steve? You're so annoying. I tell you, have you been with him for trying to go- trying to have lunch with Ricky? Yeah. It's the hardest thing possible. Yeah. You wander around for hours. Com- it's a, well, a combination- it used to be bad even before he was a celebrity because he has this- the, a tolerance level, I- it's extraordinary. I mean, he is irritated <laughs> by- a car honking its horn in the street. <laughs> it's like, I can't believe it, let's go in here, I, I'm so angry. <laughs> it, it, he, he gets annoyed by police sirens, by rain, wind, <laughs> birds in the air, other people in the streets. They're the most annoying. Children particularly, whether they're in a school playground we happen to be walking past, <laughs> whether they're on TV. It's it, just noise that isn't mine. Well, I know, but this is the thing, you are the most irritating man I've ever met, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, you know that car, don't you? I mean, noise. He makes. Uh, um, uh, it's extraordinary. I mean, I've been, I've been, well, I've been editing some behind-the-scenes footage we shot of uh, making the second series of The Office. It's extraordinary. I've had to cut sequences out involving Ricky because they'll just think he's a giver, just think he's an idiot, like some kind of puppet that the rest of us are controlling. Because he's shouting, he's whistling, he's honking, he's making noises, he's dancing around. It's extraordinary. And if you're out trying to find somewhere to eat with him. All these irritants, all these annoyances, and it's, oh, that music's too loud, I don't like that particular song, I'm not going in there. There's more than eight people in that cafe, I'm not going in there. <laughs> it's just extraordinary. I think we need a woman, I'm thinking of hiring a woman, like a PA, to just go out ahead of us, scout ahead of us, go in, you know, and she, she can just sing back and say, oh, <laughs> sexist. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> or a guy, oh, that's or a fella, th- oh, sexist, or a fella, just to scout ahead. Oh, I'm thinking back. of hiring a woman, subservient role. We couldn't hire him. Oh no, oh, sexist. Well, that or a chance to meet a woman. <laughs> Yeah. That I'm also yeah. paying. It's like, it's like paying for it. Yeah, it's exactly. It's like more above board. Yeah. So, uh, if, if you want to play Family Fortunes, call up. What's the number? Oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three four. Yeah, it's just like Family Fortunes. Two of you are competing for some great prizes, and uh, I go um, something you'd, you know, how it goes, and then <laughs> go buzz and and uh, <laughs> play around board. It's not as high tech <laughs> as Family <laughs> Fortunes. <laughs> Current single from uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, that's Bring It On. Yeah. On XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, and two people on the line to play XF Family Fortunes. <laughs> Brilliant. Hello. Steve hello. first. Steve, hello. Steve first, hello, how you doing? You all right, mate? Where are you calling yeah. from? Uh, from my pub in Barnes. You got a pub? Yeah. In Barnes? Yeah. Are you posh? No. Oh. <laughs> I suppose they- <laughs> You're the, the, the local landlord, do they, do they come yeah. in and sort of like go, good man, there's a, there's a shilling, get me some ale. They're all posh in barns, aren't they? Well, no, not all of them, actually. Does Nigel that. Havers come in your pub, because he lives there, doesn't he? <laughs> um, well, none of them do, actually. I know there's lots of them about, aren't there, in barns, but, um, but no, not You've in banned them. You've banned them. Who, who's on the other line? It's, uh... Jennifer. Jennifer, hello. Hello. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Forest Hill. Forest Hill, that's yeah. right south, and I don't go out of WC1. <laughs> oh, you should. Do you run a pub? Do I own a pub? No. Do you drink in one? Yes. That's just good. <laughs> just, just, just from friendly chat there. Yeah, I think it's the just, thing just between the brain that you were talking about before. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, they did an experiment, and apparently the length of it determines whether you're a straight or gay. Is that that's right? What I heard. Yep. Well. So what? You could actually trim it if you fancied. You <laughs> 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 didn't go that far. Oh, no, you, you, you've just interacted with Carl Pilkington. Oh my I, god! I treasure that. Right, here's the prizes. Okay, now, um, listen, don't be disappointed because, as ever, Carl has just gone through some people's drawers here at XFM and found some really quite shoddy prizes. So, um, you get <laughs> on DVD. I don't know if you're a fan of it. Is it, are they a German band? Rammstein or Rammstein? Oh, you'll enjoy that. But there's, uh, there's any number. <laughs> that, that includes Ash zu Ashk, Spiel mit mir, <laughs> and Hegelade. That's just some of the classics on this, uh, DVD of their, <laughs> their greatest videos. Uh, Red Dwarf, uh, the First Do you think series. Germans sit around looking at Oasis records and going, look at these wonder walls? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly so. Well, wow. um, best, the very best of the Stone Roses, um, although I might have that, so anyway, uh, there's also an I Love You compilation, kind of appropriate, and, um, a tribute to the Ramones, which so might be interesting. So you can get the idea, um, Steve and Jennifer, the stakes are pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, here we go. Extra family fortunes. So, fingers on the buzzers, just both go, wah! If you think you can answer this right, and then we, uh, the, the highest answer or the top answer gets to chance to play or pass. If you play, you've got to get all five answers. There are five answers. Um, every wrong answer, you get a life, and I go, <laughs> and when you get three, when you lose three lifelines, then the other person can steal. It's as simple as that. If you've seen uh, the show Family Fortunes. No, this is a new, this is not based on anything I've ever seen ever <laughs> in my life. Okay, right. Okay, fingers on the buzzers. Okay. Name something. We asked eight of my mates, right? Something you associate with Carl Pilkington. Wah! Okay, Jennifer, <laughs> what? Silliness. Yeah, that's the top answer. Thick or dimness. Oh, Do you want to play or pass? Play, please. Okay, okay. Stay, stay tuned, Stephen, because you might be able to steal if she gets three wrong. Okay. Right, <laughs> right okay. <laughs> right, we've got a top answer. Four to go. Thick or dimness is top answer, obviously. Okay, Jennifer, some other things associated with Carl. Comedy. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. I don't even know who he is. Um. You uh, don't even know who he is? <laughs> 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 no, she does. She must <laughs> and do. And yet, it. bizarrely, <laughs> she knows that silliness or yeah. stupidity is not answer. Yeah, come on, something else. Um, uh, smelly eyebrows. <laughs> 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 One more wrong answer, and then Stephen gets a chance to steal. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Um. People are screaming it at home. Very sensible. <coughs> oh, what was that? Very sorry. sensible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Stephen, can you think of one of the answers that Jennifer didn't get? Uh, must be a, a mind for a name nonsense. Oh well, uh, no, I'm going to give you that because number five is even thicker. So, <laughs> yeah, you mi what you missed is um, the top answer was thick or dim. Second top answer was Manchester. Third was rounded. <laughs> Fourth was airy Chinese kid. And five was um, even thicker. Um, so I, I think Stephen's the winner there. Yeah, I think he's done well. Yeah. Uh, you enjoy uh, Ramstein and you get uh, the Stone Roses and an I Love You CD. So that's the that's the pilot that's for this show. Okay. When Blockbuster's all over, this we're going to phase in mm. XF Family Fortunes. Carl, thoughts? It's not that good, is it? Why? It's not. It's not that good. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that happy with it. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, I'm just... What else? What, what... No. <laughs> You're definitely <laughs> right about that top answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, uh, right, um, so, uh, Stephen wins all those prizes. Yeah. Uh, and stay on the line and, and we'll send, take your address. And we'll send something to Jennifer as well for even bothering to talk to Carl. Mm. So <laughs> what's this, Carl? What are you playing now? About the drum boy. Yeah, excellent. What Bye. Are doing? Do we ever do rock busters then? Later. Eminem, sing for the moment on XFM 104.9 with Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right, Carl, moving on. Got a lot to cram in. If you yawn again or pick your teeth or chew, uh, uh, <laughs> oh God. uh, can I just, you know, sometimes I get told off by Carl, he gets a little bit sulky if I slag off the prizes that he sources for each competition. Uh, this is from Rob in Croydon. He's a former winner of Rockbusters. Yeah. Uh, he said he didn't even know what the prizes were going to be when he entered. Uh, he won, and sure enough, for one night only, he was a hero. The following morning, uh, it was just Rob again, and all I had to show for my t triumph are five compilation CDs I'll never listen to. Yeah. And two DVDs I'll perhaps get nine pounds for on eBay. Please get some decent prizes. Ricky, you're BBC's golden child of comedy. What are you doing? How many of your listeners really are into Stephen Polyakov's The Lost Prince? No one. That's how many. Now that is a winner. That's someone who's got a reason to like us and oh, like you. I think he's got the same attitude as Steve when you give him something for free. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Sorted you out with NERD tickets for last night. Lot of messing around, lot of phoning round yep. going on to get you them tickets. Yeah. Come in today. You enjoy the gig. Couldn't be bothered going, yep. Carl. Typical. Yeah. I didn't say I couldn't be bothered going, Carl. You just pursue, presume, is assumed that that was the case. You're right, but well. the point is this, Carl. Once you've given me the tickets, they are mine to do with as I see fit. The thing is, what annoys me is right. I bet he hasn't even listened to them CDs. He might no, find some. No, on so there. that's his point. I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, to but, be fair. But I don't want to give him stuff that's too good because then they'll listen to CDs instead of XFM. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's always careful planning. <laughs> ah! So you always got an answer. Oh, Carl, you're my hero. We <laughs> we don't care, do we, Carl? Well, I, I'm I, I'm I think the prizes are all right considering what they've got to do. Do you <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. 
Right. It's just a bit of fun for God's sake. <laughs> so, uh. Please do not blaspheme on air. Something, uh. <laughs> something else we're giving away. Go on. Um. <laughs> the Shining. It's just more throwing away, isn't it? Like, once again. Is it on video? Once again, it's on VHS. Just because you buy it out of your own money, Carl, stop being so mean. And I want to watch it tonight because it's one of those films that, um. <laughs> so you're, <laughs> you're gonna watch this video <laughs> and then you're gonna send it to someone as a prize. Yeah, it's one of them th films that <laughs> I'm gonna. So wait, you, what, you just said yes to that without <laughs> blinking. Oh, yeah. You don't think, like, Les Dennis doesn't have a quick go in the car <laughs> on Family Fortune before he gives it away? <laughs> it costs five ninety nine. Bowen million. has a go at those his nerd towel racks. <laughs> it costs five ninety nine, Carl. Okay, this is uh, Carl uh, in in the classic The Shining. And what's the question? Well, we might ask that afterwards. Okay then. Still, uh, still trying to write the uh, the book then? No. Yes. Good. Funny, someone, uh, told me the other day, weird thing about a typewriter, the top row of letters, the longest word you can write, is typewriter. I'll, I'll just show you, just... That's weird, isn't it? It's just, the typewriter being, you're not, you're not in the mood, are you? are just gonna, you're in one of those grouchy moods again, that you get into when you're writing. I'm not. Being grouchy. I just want to finish my work. Yeah, it's just, just she's being a bit funny, a bit off hand and that. <clears throat> Let me explain something to you. No. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. You're distracting me. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Understand? Yeah, but I, I just was coming in to try and cheer you up, you know, if you... I mean, I, I'm full of ideas as well, you know, if you're having a problem coming up with stuff. Got loads of stuff, loads of ideas you could write about. The other day I read about this airy Chinese kid. <clears throat> what do you want me to do about it? No, it's just that it, it could make a, a good book. Do you know what I mean? Sort of following round. Uh That's swell. Well, I, I'd buy it. You know. But if you don't want to know, well, won't have to... Don't bother doing it, but, do you know what I mean? It's just airy Chinese kid. It's, it's weird because they're not normally that airy over there. Yeah, this kid caked in it, but if you don't care... I wouldn't touch one hair on his goddamn little head. You don't have to touch any hair on his head. Like I say, he's covered. Leave the head alone if you want. Touch his hands. He's, he's totally covered in it, but... It, it, I love the little son of a bitch. Well, don't go that far. You haven't met him, but I can sort it I'd out. I'd do anything for him. I don't think you'd expect that much, just take him to the barbers three or four times a week. You know, he's a good, good little kid. In fact, I'll do it. I think I'll write a book on him. Yeah? How do you think you can handle that? Yeah. You're not too busy, are you? Well, I, yeah, I'm pretty busy. I've got to sort out some, uh, some monkey facts for the show this Saturday, but I, I reckon I can still... Why don't you start right now and get out of here? Alright. I will. If you're gonna be like that. Couldn't borrow a pen, could I? See you later. There you Haunting. go. Haunting stuff there. Carl Pilkerton in The Shining. You know in the film Jack Nicholson goes crazy because the suggestion is he's maybe possessed by demons that maybe, uh, are in the, in the hotel. But, you know, if I was stranded in a desolate hotel, removed from all human contact with Carl, I'd go mental with an axe <laughs> without being possessed by demons. <laughs> <laughs> That's more <laughs> chilling to me, trying to get some work done and you keep wandering in. I'm trying to get Carl to spend a couple of days in the caravan with me. <laughs> just for the head of it. And he, he was, he won't. I've offered him money, won't I? I think it'd be a great laugh, wouldn't it, Carl? Oh yeah, great. That would be terrifying. No, I wanna film it. I the just wanna film you. it. Like a little video diary. There's Carl there, he's just waking up. Well, just if I was trying to do that, that would be like being, I may as well be with Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. <laughs> it, that's, that's more scary. The thing the is, two of you. Ricky doesn't mess you about as much as he messes me about. No, you see, you've given him an inch. You've given him an inch and he's taken a yard. 12.30 you got in today. In, uh, 30 minutes between 12.30 and 1, the old bin lid on the head, if you wanted <laughs> to do that again. Yep. Uh, <laughs> squeezing my head, think he had a go at, and, uh, karate chop on the back of the neck. Yeah. 
all in 30 minutes. Yeah. Who else can say that? <laughs> Who else can say that? Who else can say <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, uh, anyway, have we got a question then? Yeah, to win a copy of, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to say it, The Shining <laughs> on, VHS. on VHS is worth five ninety nine, <laughs> and it will have already been watched by Carl Pimpton, probably not even rewound. Yeah. To win that. Rewound, and a, a little bit of tripe and cow eels <laughs> where it just <laughs> yeah. slipped into his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a barm cake yeah. outside. As he was reading the back of the box trying to figure out what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> the ingredients. Um, to what about this, right? To whip. Oh, <laughs> here's a question. I've got a question. Oh, no, go on. on. No, what, no, I want to hear Carl's first. Okay. No, it's about <laughs> the film. Um, because when I was whizzing through it, I saw something and thought, oh, that's good. Um, the kid who's in it, um, he was writing something on the back of a door with lipstick. <laughs> what was it? Well, that's a tricky question. I can't remember. Nor can I. Right. So the kid in it was writing Is something on the back of the door. Is that gonna be too hard for anyone? Let's see if- I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's somebody- Right. But the phones are going, so it might be- Yeah, but this is email, isn't it? Alright, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. <laughs> what was being scrawled on the back of a door by the little kid in The Shining? Be honest, if you know that, it means you've probably already got it and you've watched it about eight times. Yeah. Fair enough, though. Alright. Uh, Bob Dylan. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna make me lonesome when you go on XFM. Sorry, they're arguing. Steve and Carl but are arguing But he just goes, you've got to keep about, it slick. Do you know what, can I just tell them what you're arguing about? The, think of this, right? This is the argument. They're arguing whose fault it is why this show is rubbish. Think of that! What? What? That's a perfect- that, I think that's a valid criticism. At least we're discussing it. You're just accepting that that's the case. <laughs> you're not even trying to change it. <laughs> <laughs> we're- uh, we're ashamed of it! <laughs> yeah! We have to I go out there! Be, I should be, but, uh, I, I quite like it! In fact, I remember- remember when we went out about two weeks ago and <laughs> said so we've- we've got to, you know, make it tighter and that, make it good. <laughs> um, went out for something to eat. <laughs> you- you were happy sat at the table talking about squids and having to, <laughs> you know, go off with one if you wanted to have a kid. I brought up the topic, right, what we're gonna do about the show, suddenly you've gotta go. It's like, oh, I think I've- I've made plans. So me and Steve sat there- <laughs> Can I just stuff. do- no, <laughs> <laughs> See, I do the- I, I- I do- I do acknowledge, um, uh, quite- quite shamefully that this is more enjoyable for me to do than for you to listen to. But it's like- it's like two hours sort of playtime for me. It's like, um, you know the study period when you're meant to read a book but you actually can't afford to run around and draw pictures. I think like this, even though I'm getting paid for this and I'm meant to be working, it's nice. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> not- not for the listener. But, but the, for me. But the problem is, the only way we can improve this show, Carl, to be honest, the only way we can make this good is if the three of us resign. Yeah. And they <laughs> replace it with someone else. Yeah, but Carl, you, you're getting flustered and you're getting stressed because you're, tr you know, I don't know what I was saying, answer the phones, you were letting them ring, you're still letting it ring. You're still letting people phone, you go, oh look, leave that. And uh, people have phoned in, good enough to phone in, to ask for something for free. <laughs> I think you should at least answer the phone and say, it's not worth it, the prizes are rubbish. Well whilst I'm doing all the other stuff, maybe you can do that. No way. Right then. But no to be way. fair, Rick, I'm not- I'm not accusing you of being lazy. No. But you're sat on a chair and yet you're almost vertical. <laughs> No, I don't know how you've done it. It's like you're almost asleep, <laughs> but you're sat on an upright chair. I don't know how you've actually angled yourself in I'm that way. I'm gonna have a bad back when I'm, oh, in old age. I'm just gonna be bent double. Alright, so come on I now. What? Pretend we're starting now. Okay. We've just started the show yeah, now. Yeah, it's two o'clock. It's Sorry. XFM. Um, it's the Ricky Gervais show with Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington, or our show. It's our show. From now on, I'm- I'm- I'm at least <laughs> cutting up the blame as well. Um, XFM 104.9, what do you wanna know? Funny thing happened to me on the- on the way here. <laughs> okay. Um, actually it was, uh, about Wednesday or Thursday, I was walking along, I was walking along the Charing Cross Road, I was on my way here actually to meet Carl for a drink, and um, this little fella came up to me, I think it was, uh, an overseas student, he's sort of like a student type but he had an accent, and uh, he came up to me and went, excuse me, I use, uh, one from the office? And I went, um, yeah. Yeah, he went, um, would you sign a script book of the office for me? I went, uh, yep, by all means, yeah. He went, can you come to the bookshop? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, what, what, you haven't got it on you? He went, no, but if you come, I will buy one for you to sign. And I went, I can't really. He <laughs> went, were you gonna pass one? I went, I'm not, no, I'm, I can't. He went, and he went, as he went, Oh, I was just- I was just in Waterstones earlier, I didn't- I didn't- I went, oh, sorry, he went, you could just- I went, I can't. He went, okay. 
I went, I'll, I'll sign something else. Have you got something else I can sign? He went, of course. <laughs> and I signed a pamphlet or a brochure or something <laughs> for him. But I love the idea, imagine me going with him, <laughs> I'm queuing up, <laughs> and I'm in the queue, he's going, uh, you can't go, yeah, fine, can you just oh, hurry up? And, and he gets there and his switch doesn't work and he goes, can you lend me ten pounds? <laughs> yeah. I mean, imagine that. I'm a little bit annoyed you didn't go with him, frankly, because that would have been a sale of our book and I get a little cut from that. Well, behind him was Salman Rushdie. <laughs> going, can, can we hurry up? Because yeah. I've really, I shouldn't be out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm getting a lot of funny looks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I really, you know, I don't, I don't feel comfortable. But it, I thought it was very odd the other day. We were walking along, and Ricky often gets bothered for an autograph. And um, some Japanese people who I think were tourists, oh, kind of, this they, was they, funny. they appeared from behind the corner. And I thought this is odd. That, you know, they seemed like tourists, but they're obviously going to ask for an autograph. <laughs> and they just handed him a camera and said, "Excuse me, would you take a photo of us?" I was, I and they was didn't cracking him. They didn't recognise him. I was laughing. I was thinking, right. Oh, so now dude. Ricky stood in the street. People are recognising him as he's taking a photo of three <laughs> complete Japanese, Japanese strangers. <laughs> and I imagine them getting home and so saying, and here's the one we had taken by Ricky Gervais. Taken with Ricky Gervais? No, taken by Ricky Gervais. From the office. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Uh, would you come to uh, the bookshop with me? The okay. life of a minor celebrity. Not really. <laughs> Times like these, Foo Fighters Next FM 104.9. Carl, right. let's build up to monkey news. Do you want to give the, uh, the competition answer and winner? Yeah, uh, we did the bit on, on The Shining, me acting out in that. Yeah. And the question was, the kid in the film The Shining, yeah. he, uh, <laughs> after, like, the devil had got in him and that, <laughs> uh, This isn't written out, is it? You're just winging this, aren't you? No, but I remember it. I well, you haven't seen it. the film, though, have you? No, but when I was whizzing through to get the clips to make that thing, right. I saw it and I thought, hang on a minute, I'll watch this bit. And yeah. that's why I want to take it on yeah. tonight and watch you're excited, it. Yeah. I meant more how you're presenting the competition. It's just like Jonathan Ross on film 2003. Well, I'm just just saying, right? So the kid's there in the bedroom, and yeah. he's uh, he's got his mum's lipstick. Yeah. And he's uh, he's saying. It doesn't run a, a mobile D. D no. And he no. said uh, it, it, he wrote down red rum. Yeah. On the back of the door. Uh huh. And his mum wakes up and thinks, "What's he doing?" Yeah. She looks at him. and She goes, "Oh," and then she looks in the mirror. And sees red rum in the mirror. Right. Which he is thinks sort of he's offering racing tips. Yeah. It says murder in the Ooh, mirror. Clever. Oh, clever. So, uh, Kelly in Hounslow got that right. So, Excellent. after I've watched the film, I'll be whizzing that over uh, to Hounslow. Brilliant. I, I, I mean, the one thing I do like about um, this show, uh, for all its faults, is the. Honesty? Yeah. I mean, that can be good and bad. <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, some people would think it's, it's sloppy, arrogance, laziness, you know. They'd be right. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I like I like to think it's honesty. It's like a peek into the to the mind and workings of Carl Pilkington. He just said to me because he was shaking because he said to me and the, I, I quote he said oh he just uh, whittering to himself I must remember to eat next time <laughs> Suzanne's away. I know I know I, I like must to remember to eat next time Suzanne's away. No, but you did. I mean, I wonder if I lived on my own if I'd still be about. <laughs> <laughs> Because I just neglect myself. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, for all I've eaten A lot morning, of self-abuse, is that I what you're saying? I had lasagna last night that I messed up, right? Why did you mess Cocked it up? it for too long. It was like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, and she called up and said, have you eaten? I went, yeah. She went, was it nice what you have? I said, lasagna. Was it nice? And I thought, I don't want her to worry, because she's probably been out and had a good meal with all the work people. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to say, well... I'm, you know, and she went, okay, bye, bye. And I go, that car, yeah, yeah, I bet he cooked it like a brick. <laughs> yeah. I bet he threw it away. Anyway, <laughs> gin and tonic. <laughs> yeah. And I had uh, scotch pancakes for breakfast. That is all I've had. So I'm starving, I'm shaky. Plus, I've got that restless leg syndrome still going on, <laughs> which I can't get rid of. What's restless leg syndrome? <laughs> I find, uh, if I go to bed, right, my body's tired, but my legs aren't. <laughs> 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 Are you like Michael Flatley? <laughs> you have to get up and do a bit of tap dancing. Do they, do they just keep going even just when keep, you're asleep? Keep moving about, so I have to get up and stretch them or something. Or I've worked out that if if I put a pillar on like the bedpost down at the other end, yeah. if I have my legs higher than my heart, it calms it down a bit. Is this why Suzanne works away so often? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's weird <laughs> to get a decent night's sleep. I put it down to Smarties and that. It's like a sugar thing, but yeah. um, stop eating them. Apparently, Bob Morton has got it as well. No, he's got arthritis. Was he? You told yeah. me the week that you've mastered uh, moonwalking. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can do that. Is that one of the things you did, like, in the middle of the night? It's it's, it's still moon sleepwalking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) He just gets out, he finds himself walking backwards and wakes up and goes, oh, God, I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant at this. Right, so, so, listen, what we're doing now, are we doing, uh, are we getting a debate going about... Actually, right? Go on. We're struggling, go on. No, no. You can help me out here, Carl, you've got an idea. I can see it in your eyes, he's got a brilliant idea. Wait for it, go on. No, no. It's something, when I was looking on the web, found yeah. something out. Go on. Um, it's a story about yeah. a woman who had a baby, <laughs> who had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, what? A, a, a woman yeah. who had a baby who was having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, it was no clearer what? when you repeated it. No, go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for the common good, right? Pursue this line of inquiry, right? Because I don't know where it's going. Or play a record. I I am actually torn. I don't know what to do. No, I remember seeing it and thinking I've got to tell Ricky about that. It's brilliant. What? Uh, should we, what should we do? Should we should we go with it? It's a, I mean, it's like it's entering into the abyss. It's opening Pandora's box. It's, <laughs> it's peeking. By, it's going down to the cellar. I've got a couple of questions though. Go on then. Well, come down there with me. Okay, <laughs> come down right, in the cellar with me. Okay, right, Carl. What, what, what? First of all, it was on the way. What, what, what do you mean? The, the baby was what? Had another? But was it? She didn't give birth. They didn't. The doctor didn't find one of those set of Chinese dolls up her. Rus- Russian dolls, whatever that's, they're that's, called. That's what I pictured it like. Those those dolls where you take the head off and there's another one in there that all look the same. But no, the story was <laughs> there's a woman. Who's no, don't just say it again. That's a headline. That's not a story. There was a woman who had a baby who had a baby. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. not a story. That, um, imagine handing that in as a, th- as a thesis to loads of the BMA. You know that? There you go. Uh, yeah. Read that. That's, a, said, that's a children's <laughs> rhyme. Yeah. There was a woman who had a baby who had a baby. What do you mean? So the ba- she had a baby, yeah. right? Yeah. And, uh, that bit's fine. We're yeah. okay with that. That's normal. That's normal. A, a totally woman had a child. Yeah, totally normal. She gave birth. Fine. Yeah. Next. Well, I, I, I don't know that much more, apart from the fact that huh? the baby's, like, roaming about, <laughs> and then, uh, twelve, like, twelve months later, she's like, oh. Interesting. So the gestation period of the, that baby was actually three months more than an adult. Yeah. Excellent. It's weird though, isn't it? So was the headline, my baby's twelve months pregnant? <laughs> what are you talking about, twelve months later, it had a, what are you talking about? Forget it. it no, you haven't, you haven't even finished the story. That you said, and twelve months later, you didn't even finish the sentence. So what do you mean? No, I didn't. I didn't read any more into it because I just saw you that didn't and I thought read it. That's, what? that's weird. And then I just was thinking, oh, like imagine the kid at school at parents' evening. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. And it's like, well, your kid's pretty good. Now, now let's have a look at your work, sort of thing. <laughs> Don't you think that'd be weird? <laughs> but what? Did the child have a baby? Yeah. Of course it didn't! Play record! We shouldn't have gone down in the cellar. <laughs> we should have I just can't. left the cellar door closed. But I never learned. That's the zombies and a song called Time of the Season. I've enjoyed that. What do you think of zombies, Carl? It's alright, yeah. No, not the, not the group, but the, oh, the, the living dead. Don't worry about them. No? Why? Not about, are they? It doesn't happen. <laughs> you don't right, believe listen, in that? Listen, right? You don't believe in zombies? So, I But was you do believe online. a baby had a baby? Yeah. On you go. On you go. Are you still saying that didn't happen? Yes. Right, well, I'll find the thing again, I'll print it off and well, then you'll read I'm it. Well, all I'm saying is there's more information that we need. Yeah. yeah. but, but it always annoys me that when I do get the information, you'll go, yeah, but it's named Sally, you didn't say that, and make out- No. Uh, as if- No, 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 no don't, do, ma- don't do. make it look like w- w- we're over inquisitive or over cynical. You come out with the- the most abominable things man has ever uttered, <laughs> and you expect us to accept them. Usually headlines, usually uh, illogical, not just probably wrong. So, fleas are born pregnant. <laughs> are they? Interesting. Yeah. Right. Okay. See? On we go. So See, that's true, and you're not impressed, because it doesn't involve a little werewolf child, or half man, half shark. You, you just not, it's not good enough for you. No, but what I, what, I, if I read the first line of something and it's not, not that interesting to go next, right, and I move <laughs> on. Now when I saw a woman had a baby, and it had a baby, But I'd you go, still Ooh. didn't read on. No, but, alright, I didn't read on, but it got me thinking. Like I said, it's, you, you wonder about the parents' evening. I was thinking about, <laughs> you know, is it a good thing? 
<laughs> because you're gonna spend more time with the kid. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of mums who have to go to work and that. She's gonna be a great mum. Grew up with her, literally. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so She's I, gonna I'm be wonder... a great mum. I, I just wonder if I know it sounds weird, but if was it's... it was it was it the the, the you know the baby that woman had was that a girl or a boy? No, it would have been a girl, wouldn't it? Of course it would. It'd be mental, wouldn't it, if it wasn't? Right. It'd have been a weird story, wouldn't it? So anyway, that reminded me because we were talking about other amazing stuff that Ricky told me to find out about. Steve, are you aware of bonobos? We mentioned them earlier. I'm not particularly familiar with bonobos. Right. It sounds like a cream cake. No, they were they were um, a, a, a sort of a, a chimpanzee, but more advanced than the, the, the traditional chimpanzee. They, they live uh, uh, in one sort of particular area, and um, you know it's the sort of closest animal to the missing link. They're very intelligent. They take on a lot of social aspects of um, human. They have sex for um, pleasure mm -hmm. and no other. Steve's looking uh, annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> He's done, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, what did you find no, out about Apparently, him? I found out it's 98% not human, this kind of thing. It's nearly human, but it's not. We share 98% of DNA yeah, with it. Yeah, 98%. Yeah. It's a higher percentage um, than you. <laughs> <laughs> they have sex for pleasure. They do look a bit like him, though. They've got a little round head, haven't they? But, and they um, sort of, they're much more upright than the, you know, they've got a more well, flexible. I, I sort of get bored with animals that are like classed as being intelligent, right? So when you tell me- <laughs> <laughs> I never said that with them, cause yeah. they're not doing enough, they're exactly. not playing no, no. Nintendo. Do you know, do you know like that people always rave on about dolphins, saying yeah. oh they're really bright and that. Yeah. You know, um, I was having an argument with Suzanne about it and she goes oh yeah dolphins are really intelligent. And I said but what, what have they done? So <laughs> she said <laughs> well they, they use them in wars, they strap bombs to the back to go out to boats. Yeah. So then blow up the boats. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. They're trained, yeah. Well that isn't that bright. If it was really bright, it'd go, I'm not doing that. Well, no, they leave them. They don't blow themselves up. They, ang anyway, but- All Right, well. So anyway, so bonobos, um, really bright and that. Mm. Now, I was looking at them, mm. and they are, you know, they, they're saying, they, they, you know, they, they're just like humans, basically, right? Mm. Well, what I was thinking is, I didn't have a chance to ask you, um, if you got a mentalist, Right. And put the bonobo in what an exam. Mean, what, okay, right, okay. What do you mean a mentalist? What do you mean? Well, you know, someone who's, you know, a little bit, a, just a little bit slower than me, and put an put them in an exam, what would happen? Right, okay, you've got to be clearer here, Carl. What, what are you saying? Are you saying pit the wits of a bonobo against someone who's educationally subnormal? Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> I, again, I don't know where to start. I, no, but no. if they're that good, why aren't they being used in, uh, in labour and stuff? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what, it, what, in the, in the late, what do you mean, in no, the government? No, like, you know, like, <laughs> some, some jobs that they could do. Why well, hasn't good, someone caught onto it and thought, well, hang on a minute. Sorry, right. I, I'm not familiar with the bonobo. Seriously, could it do a job of work? How how advanced are these creatures? Well, uh, lots of animals do job of work. I, I think Carl wants this bonobo to start going to work at, uh, with an umbrella and a bowler hat and uh, have sort of like rudimentary language skills like morning, <laughs> morning. <laughs> so Sheila. the bonobo. So I couldn't employ the bonobo to be my PA. It's um, not. I mean, how advanced are they? Could could I no. treat, could I teach you to go in the shops and collect something well, and bring yeah, it? Yeah, but you can teach a dog to do that. Yeah. It depends what you mean by intelligence, social interaction, uh, also dexterity capability, you know. Could uh, it produce this show? <laughs> yes! I, I just thought it could, <laughs> randomly. Yeah. Uh, um, just by pressing the buttons it could do a better it, job. It's, it depends what you're asking, Carl. It, what, I mean, what you mean is, it can a, could a chimp be a thick human at an intelligence test? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. But it depends yeah. on what the problem with the with the human is, doesn't it? Right. Well, first of all, mental illness is nothing to do with intelligence. Let's get that straight. That's one thing. Mental people aren't necessarily less or uh, intelligent than people. Now, is that the clinical term? <laughs> well, exactly. A mentalist. <laughs> mentalist. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to start with wh where he's going wrong with the question <laughs> to answer it to find find out what he really means. Because it's just that if that did happen, right? So what did what could happen? You want the plan of the eggs, right. don't you? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> go on. Right. I go to school. I go to a new school. Yeah. I go in the class. There's three bonobos sat on the back <laughs> row. Yeah. 
Right? I think it would make <laughs> everybody- They're kids, are they? Everybody would work hard if you go, well, I don't want a monkey beating me. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas when so I went to school- So you think they'd be an incentive? Yeah. Well, I- yeah, I, I think- I, Okay, they're going to go, oh, go on, what do you mean? No, I would- I, I would have loved it. Cause, I mean, one of the reasons I didn't like school is it's like, oh, I'm not bothered. You know, I'm not bothering going in today. I'd love it if- if I went in and someone said, right, you're gonna start coming again, why is that? Got three bonobos in your class. What if they didn't hang out together, like the two little um, kids with the webbed hands well, and the big can, heads? What, what if they want. started bullying you, <laughs> stealing your pocket money, well, maybe go in, maybe going. copying you, make, maybe making you do their homework? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did find out. You to be honest, it would <laughs> probably be the other way round, <laughs> and he'd score better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, have you been copying? <laughs> have you been copying the bonobos? Have again? you been copying Boo Boo again? <laughs> oh, good though, wasn't it? <laughs> it I, well, it'd be great. I love. I, I wish I could live in your mind for just a day. So it must be great when you walk around and see things. We were talking before, right, about, um, at school for some- I can't remember why it came up, the frog thing. <laughs> but they- they did a- th oh, I'll tell you what it was, it's the march that's on today, right? And, um, I, I, you know, if people want to do that, that's fair enough, but I, 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 I don't like going out in big crowds and what have you. Sure. He uh, said, he said, there's too many people to get anything done, right? <laughs> he said, I wouldn't do anything with more than five people. <laughs> do I you said, know what I mean, Steve, if you have a night out? If there's more than five of you, you can't talk to everyone. Uh, who's in charge of the night? <laughs> it makes it hard work if you want to nip into a restaurant, because you've got to get, like, a table for six. Yeah. So if you're on that march today and you want a coffee- You've got to get a table for twenty thousand. seven for one million protesters! <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you know what I mean? If they're Trying walking to work down the street, the bill afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. dessert. <laughs> if they're well, let's just split it a million ways. <laughs> yeah. Should we just split it oh, a million ways? Well, well, I didn't have a starter. Start. I need to pay with switch. I didn't have a starter. Can I pay on switch? Before you know, war breaks out. <laughs> so get it. They're fighting amongst themselves. Doves, there goes the fear. We got a crack on here. XFM 104.9. We've got to get in Rockbusters and a couple more tracks. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl, go for it. This is Rockbusters, the last ever Rockbusters. Right, yeah, it's a uh, accents special one today. <laughs> um, I've done it before in the past using accents, so yeah. Uh, three cryptic clues, initials, email in. You can win. Uh, Do the email address stuff. now, so then take it down and start going. Right, Ricky dot Gervais. <laughs> ixfm.co.uk, right? Yeah. Right, first one, uh, yeah. the northern lad remembers he had to tell his mam's daughter something. God, <laughs> oh, dearie me. The northern lad remembers he had to tell his mam's daughter something, that's O, the initial O there. Think of a band. Yeah, I've got it away, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, okay, that's easy, go on next. Um, second one, the person from Birmingham got a C in their degree. Right, the person from Birmingham got a C in their degree. The the initial there is T. You don't get A, B, or C with your degree. Well, that's it. and the final one, the Cockney fella isn't happy. Everything's going wrong. That's D H. The initials there, D H. So very quickly, the northern lad remembers he had to tell his mum's daughter something. God, they're not going to get the second one. Oh, uh, second one. The person from Birmingham got a C in their degree. Initial T. And the last one, the Cockney fella isn't happy. Everything's going wrong. D H. Email in Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co dot uk and win some stuff. Is right. it important that they bear in mind the accents? Does the yeah, will the accent really help important. them? Of course it will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, of course it will. Not necessarily course. Yeah. So right, do that. Right, the Valentine uh, special, Letter to Hermione, one of the greatest love songs ever. And you've got a couple of minutes. Please email. Do you know email the funny thing is we haven't even done monkey news. Oh God. Right. There's nudists going about, playing bowls, <laughs> which we didn't get round to. Are there? Yeah. God. Um. Why are they doing that? They got fed up with volleyball. I don't know, it annoyed me when I read it. But Did we'll leave that, maybe we can come back to what that. What are they up to? Um, some, some They've got to be careful when they're smoking a pipe and bowling if they're nude. Do you know how, like, nudists annoy me? I mm. saw it in the week that, um. Sorry, what was the- what was the- sorry, sorry, what was the monkey news? Quickly. There no, 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 we got to save monkey news. We'll have to do that when we, uh, when we next Is it quick? Is it quick? Going into the record? Uh, what, the monkey news? Is it quick? Yeah. I, I can tell it to you quick. Quick then. Right. Jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that! Go. Shambles. Hurry up! There's a monkey in India, right? On a, uh, railway station. Waiting for the train. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't mess about because I've got to get through it quick. <laughs> There's monkeys, monkeys sat there, 
and uh, this robber nicks somebody's handbag or something, <laughs> goes running off down the platform, the police are chasing him, monkey steps in, trips the fella up, pins him down, police come and arrest the fella. He tripped over the monkey. Okay, play a record. He didn't. He tripped over he the didn't. monkey. The monkey was waiting for a train. He tripped over the monkey. The monkey was waiting for a train. He tripped over the monkey. Did you check okay. the timetable? Okay, leave it. Leave it. Letter to Hermione by David Bowie. Well, we're all getting stressed here. We're gonna run out of time again. We, we haven't had enough answers. We left it so late. We had so much rubbish to pack in. You did it on purpose. What? What do you mean? You did it on purpose. What left- I love Rockbusters. I think it's the highlight of the week. Mm. But- uh, I again. remember in the early days of Rockbusters, we used to get reams of emails. Do you know how many we've had today? Go on. Two. Yeah, because we've just done it in the last link, and people have to think about it and do research. They have that. to guess because oh. it. it I, I, don't, I don't think f XFM Family Fortunes is gonna <laughs> be a success. Don't knock XFM Family Fortunes, Carl. <laughs> it ran on ITV for years. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well. <laughs> yeah. So, has anyone got anything right, Carl? Well, we what we'll have to just do. Just as well, we haven't got any prizes to give away anyway, because no, he gave have, away our next month. Yeah, we're we? coming through now. Let's see. Just hang on a minute. Well, this isn't radio. You can't just sit here looking at a computer screen going, hold on, hold on. That isn't radio. Right, well, it'll have to be the one who got the closest, right? Okay, what, uh, who got the closest? What are the answers? Give right. us some again. Right, oh. the, the northern lad remembers he had to tell his mates, his, his mum's daughter something. <laughs> I'm so glad this is the last one ever. This is the last, I promise, it's the last rockbuster ever. The northern lad remembers he had to tell his mum's daughter something. That was O. Yeah, I know that. What was it? Oasis. Oasis? No. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So that was another one. one. That works. That works, though. Go on, what's the next one? This is what wor this one worries me. Go on. The person from Birmingham got a C in their degree. No idea. That was T. Go on. Toto. Two two. <laughs> <laughs> a C as well. Just made it up. A C. <laughs> two two. I, I I love it. I love it. Toto. Toto. Well, well Toto. Toto. Right, no, did anyone get Toto. that? Toto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are joking. I just saw it on an email. Right, come on. Like that. Right, what was the last okay. one? That's uh, extraordinary. Last one. Uh, the Cockney fella isn't happy. Everything is going wrong. Going back in time a bit. The initials D H. Going back in time a bit. Yeah, that- for the- for the song, it's not a sort of- Oh, right, song. I was- I remember. I, I thought I didn't hear that first time round. Uh, Cockney fella isn't happy, everything's going wrong, the initials were DH, yeah. that was Dan Hill. Dan Hill. <laughs> right? Dan Hill, nobody got that one, that's- that's a tricky one, but- Steve, do you want to pick someone who got a couple? No. I mean, I imagine Dan Hill was on everyone's lips. <laughs> I mean, I'm a sorry. Lot of I think I know about music, but I don't know who Dan Hill is. Sometimes when we touch. Yeah, the uh, honestly, it's too much. It's an awful ballad from about 1973. Yeah. Right, well, I, I, no one would get Dan Hill. Did anyone get Dan Hill? Well, I don't know, Steve. Do you are just. I'm not going to check. I can't be bothered. I just want to celebrate that it's over. I'm just pleased that we're finished with Rockbusters. Uh, um, uh, what? Right. Did anyone get it? I'm gonna admit. <laughs> no, I've, I've go got on, to put check. that one back. <laughs> I don't want to hear that answer again. <laughs> what? I, Carl, leave the mouse alone and let me find that one. Right. That is someone's contempt for you. Yeah. They've put Oasis, fair enough. Second one, Travis, they've just gone. Third one, Oliver Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> They don't care. <laughs> That's how much contempt people have for you. That one's the answer. What's the answer? N-E-R-D? Yeah. Provider. Oh. I hope the Sony's weren't listening to that. I'm not gonna come in for a couple of weeks. That's- <laughs> I'm not gonna be here next okay, week. Okay, no, let, 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 no, leave it a couple of weeks. Yeah. Right, just, I think we should just take a break. Everyone should just take a break Do, do a special or a best of, Carl, cos this is- well, I've gotta go away and rethink this whole thing, cos I'm- I think it's actually probably damaging our reputation. Definitely. Definitely. What are you gonna do next week? Are you gonna come in? Carl? I'll, I'll have to be here to play it out, won't I? Fine. Yeah, right, because uh, we didn't- we didn't give the winners the competition, we've- I mean, it- ah. Uh, oh.